Hello! In the previous video we showed how to install a geodatabase using Postgres and DBMS. Now we're in step 2, how to install an ArcGIS Enterprise. And um, what we are going to do is use the Enterprise Builder. To find more about the Enterprise Builder, let's um, look at the documentation. So here we see the Enterprise Builder, it basically installs ArcGIS Server, ArcGIS Portal, Web Adapters, and connects them together properly. It uses something called Base Deployment. What is a Base Deployment? It's a deployment that installs everything on a single machine. And, of course, in many production systems, you want to have high availability and multiple servers that can scale up, etc., etc. So we are now doing the easy and straightforward uh, base deployment. So let's get ahead and get started. Here I have the installation of ArcGIS Enterprise Builder and we'll just press yes and it will kick off the installation and we are going to basically press next, I accept it, use the default locations, we will use an a password here and repeat it and press next again and everything I do is stock fully documented so you can read more about the installation process let's go with the default for the portal and the services now we have to provide the authorization files I have them handy here and where are they? Here they are. So I'm just going to shift right click, copy as path, and paste it here. Press next. Didn't like that. Let's say no. And now it's ready to install. So let's just go ahead and install and we'll take a break. While this is happening, you'll get a UI that shows you the progress as the installation progresses. Okay, so it took a while, it will take a while, so you can uh, pause the video, of course, until you get to this screen that you see on, on, on the video now that tells you everything was com installed successfully. Um, you can basically take a break it can take uh, around an hour to complete the installation. So once you get to this point, you press the finish button and that will open a browser that tells you that the installation was successful and that we'll need to basically um, go into the advanced modes once your default browser opens and proceed to the local host although it's not HTTPS yet, not a secure connection. So we're connecting now to the portal that is in, that we just installed on our machine. Now, this is the second licensing you need to provide. It's to your portal. So I'm going to pause and provide this file. Okay, so let's provide this file here. It's a JSON file. Say open and press next. Provide a name, I'll be the um, administrator and I'll provide a password that you have to remember. You can select the user type um, you want to assign yourself. I'll be a professional advanced and press next. Now you can provide your name and email. Select the security question and press next, next and finish. And now it will take another few minutes to finish the post installation in which you see the steps that are taken. So I will post it and can resume when it is done. 
Okay, so it took more than five minutes, but we successfully installed ArcGIS Enterprise. And we have two URLs here. Um, the one I'm interested to copy now is the Enterprise one. So there's a privacy here, proceed to the portal, and we're going to copy the URL here. And the reason we do that is to see how to connect to the portal from ArcGIS Pro. So let's go to Pro, Project Portals. That's the backstage, add a new portal, paste that URL, okay. And now we are connected but not signed in, so let's sign in with the same password we had before. And we can make it our default active portal, so you see the green arrow here. And now we are basically ready to publish any data we had at Parcel Fabric um, into our portal, and that is Everything you need to know how to set up the environment for a parcel fabric enterprise deployment. And with that, thank you very much.